Hello, 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 and welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Before I begin, quick disclaimer. This is not financial advice, never financial advice on this channel, but if you are looking for signals, indicators, good stuff for two weeks for free, then feel free to join my channel, t.me slash algobox. It's on Telegram. Join it. It's good. Um, yeah, before we start, though, I do want to walk you guys through what's going on and why we've had no signals. Essentially, the whales have just been triggering algorithms all over the market and then flipping it the other way to try and destroy them. Luckily, our algos do have tight stops and keep our risk pretty low, pretty low here. So um, what we've done here is, is taken small losses or broken even while this has been happening. And we are just kind of waiting for us to come out of that market cycle and, and, and just make the monies, as you can see, right? So we've had a lot of stagnant trades this month. This month has just been awful for our, as you can see here, nothing, 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 <laughs> right? Um, pretty much nothing there as well, right? Um, we're kind of looking for these kind of trades, these 45% trades, these these bangers, right? This looks like 90% here, but it's actually on 5X, you can see. So 5X, um, from 2018 would have bagged us two mil with a, a $1,000 starting stack, which is pretty fantastic. So we're waiting for this to kind of bucket's ideas up, give us some signals and uh, make the profit, make the monies, right? The next thing I want to talk about is the CMEs gaps. Uh, we can see them coming in here. Um, we got a gap here on this red line, we've got a gap here, and we are looking to fill that. Uh, if we are going from candle bodies, you can see here, uh, 90, 100, that kind of area to the downside, or uh, the one we've just created, which would be from 99 all the way up to 10,300. So um, we're kind of in, in the middle ground right now. We're kind of stuck in the crossfire, and we're kind of waiting to see which, which way we're gonna end up here. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be a dirty, trappy, wiki mess for the foreseeable future. Um, if we do come down here and we do lose this guy, it does look like we are losing it for now. Um, I would say that 8,800 is in, in on the cards. It's on the cards. Uh, if we do keep it for now, then you, you still need to fill this gap at some point, right? So whether it's a wick, whether it's whatever, we do need to fill these gaps um, coming in. So. Yeah, we'll have to see how this goes. We'll have to see what's going in with that. Uh, but if we do continue up here, which sometimes we don't always fill the gaps, do remember that, guys. If we do reclaim this support, then uh, our next target here is 12,000. So, yeah, pretty nice, pretty fantastic here for Bitcoin if it can do that. Still looking bullish, still looking okay. This is actually an okay pullback. Like, uh, it's not a colossal dump where we're selling off down to 2K, like some people are saying on, on YouTube. They need to stop saying that, creates the FUD, makes more people sell, and then everyone just gets wrecked. Disgusting. Um, but yeah, next thing I want to talk about is the gold mine. Gold mine hasn't really been spitting out any signals recently. It's just been skirting around, as I said earlier. The whales are just trapping everyone. They're just uh, triggering indicators and just destroying everyone, right? So um, this one hasn't actually given us any signals. It's been keeping us well out of the way of trouble and giving us um, essentially no signals. So. We're just waiting for that to buck his ideas up as well. Hopefully we will get some in because this is this guy puts out like between 10% and 40% trades sometimes. So um, pretty fantastic if we can get one of those as well, right? So we're just waiting here, waiting for the money, waiting for the time. Um, with all your trials as well, guys, in the Telegram group, t.me slash algobox. If, we, if we're not getting signals and we haven't really got any signals for two weeks, then I'm not going to take your trial off if you haven't made any money in two weeks, right? It, it doesn't make sense. So what I'm going to do here is just extend your trials until I'm satisfied with the amount of signals we've got. In until I believe that you guys could have made the money that, um, that, that generally we would have made in two weeks, right? So before this month and even the last month, we were making 110%, 150% ROE on our accounts every month with these algorithms, right? Um, and I do expect that to continue, but I do believe we're in a kind of decisive moment in the market, and I do believe that we're gonna, we're, we're kind of, we need to come out of this area before we can actually start making money again, personally, in my opinion. Um, so as that decides to run up or run down, depending on where it goes, that's when we're gonna start making money at the moment. But it's always been this way between 9,000 and 10,000. If you can remember, even in the 2017 times, uh, it's just been disgusting, traffic, and very hard to predict what's happening. So. Um, yeah, essentially we're going to be trading the WAD in the group. If I do spot any good signals, then I will let you guys know as well. And I'm going to be introducing some Forex into the group so you guys can make some, some cheeky bit of WADs with the WAD indicator. So yeah, that's what we're doing there. 
yeah, just waiting for signals, just waiting for signals. And if you did want to check out the, uh, the, the what's, what's this one called? Sideways Money. Sideways Money um, basically plots the range on every time frame. And uh, you can see here that we've, we've been held up here on the first attempt from 9700. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll get back up to 10,000. Maybe not. It uh, all depends because we have been in this uptrend here. You can see when this is green, we're in an uptrend. When, we're, when it's red, we're in a downtrend. Um, so, yeah, we can see what's happening there. And as this does come up again uh, if it does if it stays green then uh, we can start to think a bit more bullishly and uh, get it going if it does turn red here this 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 green line turns red that's going to signify that we're in a we're in a downtrend excuse me um, and we can start targeting lower areas for shorts and longs there we go that's basically the video where are we at where are we at we're at five minutes i did all of that in five minutes that's pretty crazy pretty pretty mad lad over here um what else? What else? What else do I need to talk about? I am working on some stuff for you guys as well. I'm working on some scripts, working on some strategies to throw out there and give you guys. But for now, it's all kind of behind the scenes, behind the curtains, behind the blinds while I'm tweaking it, getting everything ready, getting all the stats ready. Because with my indicators, with my algorithms, with everything that I do, I do like to make sure that it's proven with a strategy tester like this, for example, right? This is a fantastic algorithm and you can show that it is that, right? Um, if you're just a judge by the past months, uh, price action in the past month signals you might look at this and th think oh this is not that good of a, uh, an indicator right but if you go back in time um, and you, you look at all of the trades that's given which you can do and that's what I like to program to do with this thing um, it took some time to do but here you go this is it um, if you can do that then it's a lot easier to show that this is a profitable indicator and it does work in the long term we just need to give it some time give it a little bit of space to kind of figure itself out and then bang it get the money, get it in, and make those dollars. That's what we're all about here. Um, apart from that, yeah, we're just waiting on signals, waiting for the, the gaps to fill. I do believe whichever gap we fill here, um, I think we'll stay down there for some time. So if we do come down here and, and lose this 9,000 area, uh, I, I would expect us to kind of stay below 9,000 for a little bit anyway. Um, maybe even test this guy again, 7,700, and then head up once again. Um, but if we if we do head all the way down here, which is a possibility as well, um, we can talk about the bearish side for this as well, uh, is a possibility to head even lower than this guy, even though this is governing price action since, well, basically forever. Um, it's important to talk about all of the possibilities here and if, if this does come down I probably would expect lows as low as three thousand dollars right so if you are calculating your trade profits um, if you are just trading with BTC and not cashing it out uh, if you are calculating your trade profits for the end of the year I always like to calculate mine as low as I think BTC can get at the end of the year right so I think BTC could get as low as 2800 technically by the end of the year um, if it dumps horrifically right um, so all of my projections for my trades and all my profit, they are set to 2800, right? So if I have a projection of say, let's say $100,000 by the end of the year, that would be at a $2,800 Bitcoin, right? Um, if Bitcoin's any higher than that at any point, uh, I would still expect to make the same amount of BTC and then obviously my projection would go up based on that, right? So I just wanted to explain that to you guys because it is important if you are trading to, uh, to project and uh, kind of basically understand your plan here you can't just trade and gamble like select the slider 100 exit you can't do that you have to actually um have to plan for everything that's going on ahead right interesting that we've actually broken this trend line with a wick so uh yeah on the small time frames actually looking a bit weaker here a little bit weaker maybe 9720 here We'll have to see, we'll have to see, because we've got a lot of support and resistance on both sides. It's just going to be scatting around, um, eating up everyone's money, basically. So I'm, I'm kind of watching, waiting for a trade. If I do see something, I will let you guys know in the Telegram group, t.me slash algobox. Um, so yeah, that's going to that's gonna be it for me. I do just want to say again, guys, for you guys in the Telegram, um, your trials won't be over for a little bit until I'm satisfied with the money I'm making from the signals in the group, right? Obviously, I trade manually as well. Um, I make money, but um, this is a service that I'm providing. This is the algorithms that I've written, and I expect them to make money for me as well as you guys, right? So um, what I will be doing is just extending your trials until I believe that you could have made at least 50% on your account um, from the starting point, right? That's, that's 
the kind of uh, the, the projection I made when I gave out these free trials to everyone, right? Um, the idea being that you'd make 100% a month, which we have done for the past five months before this month. <laughs> right, so this is the first kind of month that we haven't actually made that much yet. Um, oh, God. Did, did my... Um, did my internet? Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're still good. I've had a bit of mic problems recently, but um, I'm trying to sort them, I'm trying to get it sorted out for you guys. I will be back in England soon as well, so we will be, um, we'll be doing live streams, we'll be doing everything, every day, just keeping it going, because I can't actually live stream from here in Thailand, where I am at the moment, because it's uh, a little bit bad internet, and uh, yeah. It's, it's just not as good. So when, when I get back to England, I've got all my equipment, my desktop and everything that I can actually stream from and uh, we can talk and you guys can ask me questions and we can actually get some trading going as well, which is good. So that's basically it for me in the video on the Bitcoin Beats. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, be sure to like it, leave a comment, join t.me slash algobox if you would like. Um, but yeah, that's it. See you goodbye. See you, goodbye, <laughs> subscribe and like, I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye from Bitcoin Beats.